Should we count how many bridges we go over today? Yeah. Okay, so how many is this? Number one. Number one. All right, let's go. Look down there. There's already one. Look down there. Okay, we'll only count how many we cross we over. Okay, this is the first one. This is the first one. Okay, so a couple things you want to make, you might want to know about Venice are what? That you can't walk, that you can't drive in Venice. You can only walk yep. or go by boat. Yeah. If you have suitcases, you have to carry it all the time because the roads are kind of bumpy. Well, yeah, and then there's lots of bridges, right? So like, see behind us, that's a bridge. And in front of us, there's and another one. Yeah, so you'll see lots of bridges and you have to go up and down with your suitcases. These guys up here, so you have to walk and carry your suitcases up and over the bridge. Um, when you park here in the garages, you have to leave your keys with the guy or in the car. And sometimes you have to leave your window down or not. So. Yeah, like the last few times we've been, we had to always leave our keys there for some reason. I don't know if it's always though. But what people might not know is you can park on the other side of the big road coming in. We always choose to park here. It's a little bit more money, but then you're like right here. You don't have to take a bus or a train in. You can just get out of your car and be in Venice. So that's pretty cool. Well, let's go and enjoy the day. Another thing about Venice is it's like one of the most um, popular destinations to come in Europe, which makes sense because it's so beautiful. The look and feel hasn't changed in over 600 years, so it still looks exactly the same as it did before, probably because it, it can't change, right? Because of the way the structures and everything, like everything's these little canals. There's 113 little islands, so they call them islands even though it's like little streets, but technically they're floating islands. There's and 20 million tourists a year. 20, yeah, that's a lot. 20 million and tourists. And 50,000 people who live here. And then it floods a lot here. So like during maybe, I don't know which months, but basically there's these, how do you explain it? Well, you they have, have to build the roads up higher. Yeah, so basically there's this water season and flooding season and then you have to like wear waterproof shoes and then the roads will be built up higher because like on little boardwalks they put yeah. boardwalks up like the first time I came it had boardwalks and that was in Jan like January 1st kind of for New Year's and it was it was cold and you had to walk on the shoes. yeah we will be so in Venice you can find a lot of like um, purses and leather goods and just a lot of shops so it's fun for shopping Definitely. And are they good prices, all the leather purses and stuff? Yeah. Like 15 bucks. It's 15 bucks. Right? Yeah. 18 to 15. So, I got a purse here, but mine's not here right now. And I just like watch this. I got this purse here, like, last time we've been here, which I don't know how long it was. And Korea has the same one, but in pink. Was it last year that we were here? No. Two years, years ago? Before, yeah, a couple of years ago. When you come by train, this is the train station where you arrive. So with the parking lot, we arrived over there by the bridge. And when you come by train, you arrive right here. Right over there where it says at us. Yes. Chloe, that's a little bit risky, no? Okay, I won't. I don't want to come freezing. rescue you. Oh, these look like king and queen like boats. Look at them. King and right queen there. boats. Oh, look at those. Look, yeah. look at the chairs. They're, They're boats made for the canals. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's what you see in all the movies, right? What does the guy do? Basically, the guy at the back, he stands up and he paddles. When the two people sit in front, but then every time there's a bridge, he has to go down, like really, like, like he has to go down on his knees to paddle. Do you think we'll find one that does that? Okay, let's go see if we can find one. So one thing you can do when you come to Venice is get lost in the streets and find your way around. So that's what we're about to do. They do have signs on the walls, though, so usually you can find your way back, but. We're gonna follow this massive group of tourists and uh, see where we end up. So right here is a store of Magnum. Basically, it's a type of ice cream, and you get to put any toppings you want, like. Oh, you, you know that one, right? You, so basically, we have these ice creams like just plain chocolate, let's say, yeah. with vanilla ice cream in the middle. So you get your ice cream, then you pick the toppings, and then you get to sprinkle it on, like these ones. Wow. So you can make fancy ice cream. Yeah. Or you can just make, you 
Oh, you choose your toppings in advance and then you put them? And then just pour it on it. I Can we do it. this? Nice and then if you want to sprinkle the chocolate on. And then it looks all fancy. We could get cool. ice cream here. I'm gonna go for gelatos. I want this. Can I get this? You want this kind? You can see like how to get to the different uh, areas. So we're going very alto. That's the direction we're going. So technically, you can't get lost. And if you just follow the crowds, typically they're going all the same direction, right? What's that? It can almost be for when someone's done the wedding, they go on and go like this. Uh -huh. Okay, so something that's really interesting about Venice is back in the year 1300, so in the 1300s, um, Venice was like a, what they would call like a city-state, it's almost like its own country and it was one of the wealthiest in all of Europe. So this is where it was all at. And the reason why is because they had and dominated all the trade of the Mediterranean. So they technically um, ruled all of Croatia and um, all the way down to Crete. So Crete is like the most southern island of Greece. And so they technically ruled that. And, um, and then they kind of lost their powers because they did a lot of trade with uh, what is now Istanbul with Constantinople so they did a lot of um, their trade there and then what happened was the Muslims took over Turkey and they lost their trade there as well as um, they lost their trade with the Portuguese and um, the Spaniards because they ended up going and finding ways into America so kind of everything changed for them and uh, now their main um, industry is all tourism <laughs> This is number five, actually. So I think we... I think we did the opposite of what the tourists are doing because everywhere we are it's kind of quiet like this which is really nice. So I think that's what happens when you basically walk down the streets that are less uh, busy. Then you get you get the streets to yourself. And then it's quiet like this instead of like busy with like crowds and crowds and crowds of people. So it's quite nice. Apparently the best month to come is, what did they say, November? November to I think. January. Yeah, there's like no tourists, so that's the time to come. It's just. Yeah. There's all these like nice little squares with cafes and restaurants like that. Typical European style. Numbers and window shutters. 
Well, and a tail or So it feels like we're going in circles. And they all end with the water spot and Okay, so this must be the fish market right here. Look at it. And you can Thanks. you can smell it, can't you? You smell the fish, buddy? Sometimes I like such and smells of fish. Yeah. This one's so okay. Yes. So it looks it looks like it's just over, but the smell's still here. Don't get pizzas because they're um, in Venice because they'd just be frozen ones. But these ones definitely do not look like they were frozen and warmed up. They look like the real thing. And they look delicious. delicious. I almost want to have one. Yay! Gelato time. Whoa. What flavor did you get? Nutella. Nutella. Uh, Which kind? Oh, oh. Uh, 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 no, 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 sorry. Ah, no, the, um, uh, no, the chocolate. chocolate mousse. Yeah, chocolate mousse. All right, these things are here. They're typical, um, I think they're mostly in Sicily that you get them, but basically they're like these little deep fried kind of things with rice inside and different flavors. They're really good. But this is the best, right? Julie's is chocolate mousse and Angelique's is vanilla. Vanilla. All right, let's continue our stroll. I've never seen anything like this. They put dried fruit inside of the glass. Or rocks. Or rocks, yep. Or candles. It's like candle oilers. It's really unique, isn't it? You want to a spatula?
for those of you who like the name brands, here they are.